if you tap and hold on the quick selection tool, you'll see beneath it the marquee rectangle tool. Now this is a pretty cool tool. At face value though, you might think that, oh, I'm just using it to select rectangles. I'm using my Apple Pencil to select this rectangle and you can, you know, select any size that you want. You also have this modifier button right here on the screen. And if I just tap and hold it in the center, you see that the selection is constrained from the point that I begin to the point that I'm dragging, it will remain a unified one-to-one -one ratio with, with however large I want it to be. If I move this modifier to the outside, now it's constrained from the center of the selection to the outer edge of the selection. And the outer edge gets larger and larger the more that I draw it. And that's basically what this modifier key is set up to do with a lot of different selection options or a lot of different tools. I'm sorry. It'll constrain when you press it in one way, and then it will constrain from the center when you move to the outside. Now, the top selection option, of course, will draw a new independent rectangular selection with every new selection. If you want to add to it, that's what this next option is for. You can add to your selection and create some unique shapes. You can select, uh, sorry, subtract from your selection and keep it constrained, you know, and create some even more unique shapes. You can create a selection of the difference between your existing selection and the new selection that you want to create. And these settings down here at the bottom, this, these three dots, if you tap it, you will see that we have some more settings. We have a feather slider and we have the style set to normal. So let's deselect this selection to see what this does. Let's go back to the regular rectangular independent selection. And this is with a zero pixel feather. So that means it's going to select as uh, sharp of a rectangular selection as it can possibly make. And it will not, I guess you could say, round the edges. And as you can see, the corners will remain sharp. But if you change the feather settings, it'll start selecting additional, basically rounding the edges, but if you go too high on this pixel feather setting, it won't be able to detect more. It says no more than uh, no pixels are more than 50% selected and the edges will not be visible. So you just have to make sure that this slider is not too far so that you don't make any selection at all. But that's basically what it does. Now you can change it back to zero to make a sharp selection again and we have a fixed ratio style that we can select and a fixed size style. The fixed size is pretty cool, but let's let's go to the fixed ratio. That's basically, let's say we wanna keep it constrained without having to press this modifier key. That's basically what this uh, one to one ratio will do, but we can make it a two to one ratio. And now we're selecting this exact ratio sized rectangle every single time just at different at different scales we can quickly draw these different um, selections you can add some paint inside each one if you wanted to but this last style which is fixed size this is okay say you want to have a 20 pixel by 20 pixel square that we just add in if you tap the screen with the apple pencil you'll add in that square tap it again tap it again tap it again and you're adding this size square every single time you can make it 80 pixels by 80 pixels and now you're dragging in this exact same sized square every single time you can make it 20 pixels by 80 pixels now you got this exact same size coming in and you can even subtract with it as well you can change it to 80 by 20 and now you have a different kind 
coming in. You might be a planner, you might, you know, do interior designs. This looks like an easy and quick way to design a quick interior, looking like hallways and rooms and whatnot, and you can dump some paint into it. It's dumping on top of the image, but if I wanted to undo all of that and open up a new layer, now we're dumping the paint on to a new layer. Don't see that every day. I got an idea. 